It's time to dust off your favourite chair and sit in front of the big screen TV. Get a drink in your hand because it's five o'clock somewhere. Your number one host, the thunder from down under. A man on a quest to make money for beer. Can Al Lou take Hartlepool United all the way to the Champions League final? Let's find out in today's episode of the Youth Edition. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode. Hartlepool United, bottom of the table. It's It's been rough. It's been rough, but we're going to go at it again. I am pre-recording. Uh, I've got a bit on. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just trying to get these episodes so that they are available on the correct days for you. So, um, no player upgrade from you guys. We will catch up on those, but I will give you a player to upgrade shortly. But uh, eight games, one win, seven losses. Al Lu needs to do some work here today. Let's jump into today's episode. Today's upgrade will be for Rick Timmerman, the Dutch central attacking midfielder. Hasn't had that big of an impact on this series just yet, but maybe maybe a change of uh, kit, a change of number, change of boots, who knows? Maybe just something to spark him to life. So if you want to leave a comment down below on any changes you'd like to see to Timmerman, thumbs up on the ones you like, and uh, good luck. We'll get him upgraded in a future episode. Right, the first game of today's episode, Hartlepool at Victoria Park hosting Exeter City. Now, Al Lou has made contact with Thor Gunnarsson. They had a little bit of a chat about formations and tactics, and it looks like they've come up with something fresh. This one is called the Hot Dumpling. So it is a 4-1-3-2 uh, a formation. Duggan and Biswell starting up top. Timmerman in a, a center mid cam kind of role. Suda drops back into a deeper lying central defensive midfield and the standard back four. We'll see how this goes today. It looks like attack might be the best policy. Uh, if we're going to be conceding goals, maybe we can outscore them. Let's have a red hot crack here today against Exeter City. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go in front of the home fans once again. They've turned out in full force to support Al Lu and this Hartlepool squad. Another formation to try. Can this be the difference? Can we find some points? Because it's been a long time between drinks for these lads. And it's Vass. And I can't even think of the last time we played a, a two at the front formation. Timmerman. Has some space to move, looks inside. Biswell gets the touch and it slips out the back door. Oh, they found the space. Well, we're going to have to go on the attack. 1-0 down to Exeter City. They just seem to be able to play through every part of our midfield. Even with the CDM sitting a lot deeper. But to be fair, he's nowhere to be seen. And it's just allowing players through. I had a quick look at work rates and the likes, and uh, <laughs> some of them are uh, a little bit dodgy. Helgeson, you needed to do better, son. 1 0. Back out for Wang. The has got forward as well, but Suter will play this one out. The wingers are sitting quite high. Here's Duggan. Pushes his way forward. Tries to slip through the traffic. It's not happening. Good tackle from Gopal. Timmerman finds Wang. Wang drives his way forward, and they're cut off by Sweeney. Oh, they've got through again on the outside. Oh, railed away. Woo, come on, boys. Oh, Helgeson, good save. Well, here is Young. Pushes his way forward. Lays it off now. Timmerman should get the overlap run here. Has Duggan turn. Oh, Wang, yes! Wang puts it in. And it's 1 1. Hartley Pool back in the game. Wang gets his first career goal here for Hartley Pool United. He was in the right place at the right time. Well, there we go, boys. Back in the game. Timmerman played it through. Duggan created the shot, but he was a little bit late. But there is Wang swooping in like a seagull on a hot chip and says, Thank you very much. I'll take my first career goal. It's 1 1. Let's go. Good from Liang. Fires it off. Wang gets the overlap run from Suda. And out wide here for Duggan. He's going to need Biswell attacking the box. Still he comes. Tries to drive it in. Did he get a touch? Do we get a corner out of it? Wang to deliver. Looks up and high. Too close to the keeper. Oh! Helgeson. Lovely touch. That's a big save. 
Suda plays it out for Jong. And a bit more attacking prowess here from Hartlepool. Jong decides to take it on. He's going to need men in the box. We'll deliver it over. That's cleared away. Big Wu rises to the occasion and finds Wang out wide. Wang. Timmerman. Biswalt lays it forward. Duggan get there, son. No, keeper's got it. Half time. It's one to one. Oh, dear me. Too much space to move here. Jong to close the space. Play it in. Here's the... Oh, my days. Come on! <laughs> Fucking 2-1. Exeter punish us again. Something about these boys. They go into the change rooms at halftime. Probably had a, a little bit of belief. But uh, straight away on the back foot again. And Helgerson's wondering where he can find a defence to, to help him out. Just an extra body there in the box. Midfielders need to help us out more. Suda, you've got to you've got to push in, mate. Oh my! Oh, 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 it was almost scary, scary for Hartlepool. Big Wu got up, but just headed it straight down to the attacker. And Helgerson gets a touch. Changes being made. Buckley, Cheng, and Tang check in. Timmerman, Wang, and Bismuth check out. Straight in. He's got fresh legs. Not the sprightliest of lads. Just tries to push his way forward. Lays it off, finds Cheng. Now Cheng can maneuver here. He'll push forward. He'll lay it off. He's got Duggan. Get there, son. Yes! Owen Duggan gets it in. We've equalized. It's 2-2. Owen Duggan with his eighth goal for the season. Well, Hartlepool have found a spark. Maybe that little pep up from Thor Gunnarsson has helped out El Lu. He's got the boys up and about. And Duggan gets the finish. 2-2. Two -two. Here is Tank. Gets the touch. Feeds it out for Jong. And down the line. Vass makes the run. Can he get this cross in? He can. Duggan! Let's go! Let's fucking go! 3-2! Hartlepool United! Fucking gets hit, son! Liam Duggan again! Liam Duggan, Owen Duggan. Jesus! Oh, that feels good! Come on, boys. Get the job done. Lovely ball from Vass. Duggan made the pace, made the spot, made the precision finish. Let's go. 3-2 Hartlepool. Oh, good from Jong. Vass slips it out. Here's young Buckley. Let's go, Tommy. Slices his way through the middle. Doesn't really have a lot on offer. And here comes Cheng. And Cheng pushes forward. Is there someone on the end of this one? He's gone deep. He finds Vass. Oh, Vass. Oh, too much space. Too much space. Drop back. Defend. Do whatever you need to do. Here comes the ball inside. But Big Wu gets the touch. Yes, Leon. Yes! Yes! Get in! Three points for Hartlepool. Oh, relief. Well, the possession is in our favour. The shots are in our favour. Not a lot of passing. Just balls to the wall. 11 tackles, 9 interceptions. But more importantly, 3 goals, 3 points. Oh, yeah. The Youth Academy reports have come back. And we found a couple of players. It wasn't the best of uh, reports to come back. Obviously, those star ratings are being reduced. So, uh, yeah, it sort of thins out the... Uh, the quality. Uh, but Fentian has come of age. He's turned 16, 47 overall, 59 to 73. We'll see if we need him, but I'm going to hold for now. We've picked ourselves up a right back from India, Jinder Ali. 46 rated, 70 to 94 potential. I've got a feeling that he might be better as a central defensive midfielder, so I am going to get that development plan on there for now. But uh, good to see Miyoyo, even with a one-star, one-star, still bringing back something of interest and finally we bring back pete huggins uh from england a right midfielder 57 rated so that is a solid one from johan schultz he'll keep his rating menendez is going to drop to a two star now because he didn't bring us back anyone uh and that's the way it's going to continue for this season at the start of next season we'll upgrade them 
uh, to two star, two star. Uh, maybe give him a three star, two star and see if they can bring us back something in that first round. Uh, but if they don't, they'll be back down to two star, two star. But uh, Pete Huggins, an interesting one here. I think we could probably utilize his services. We've got a few wingers floating about. Um, but you never know. He might be better than Vass. Five-star skill moves. Let's, let's promote him. Right, and that was the end of the first scouting mission. So we're sending out the boys once again. So that means... Today, in the comments section, you need to leave me some new countries to go and scout. Thumbs up on the ones that you would like to see us visit. And uh, all the top players, the big thumbs up means that you guys really want to see those countries scouted and we'll send off to those countries. So get commenting down below. Today, though, well, the first one is Connolly Gaming. He wants us to go off to Ireland for physically strong. 150 thumbs up on this one. That's outstanding. I like to see uh, you guys interacting in the chat. If you're not writing a comment, at least throw a thumb on something that you know you want to see done in this series next up connor foster has sent us back to england more homegrown talent i do appreciate that like it's good to get you know a lot of englishmen into this team especially while we're in league two league one kind of keeps a, a little bit I, I guess a sense of realism we're not really looking for that in this series but you know i'm fine with that and finally chan eldridge has sent us off to canada for wingers with 71 thumbs up so outstanding from everyone that got involved chuck the thumbs up i do appreciate it uh get commenting down below with some fresh countries for the next set of missions second game of today's episode we're on the road we're going to stevenage to the lamex stadium an interesting formation for them a 4 2 2 2 uh but we're going to stick with the hot dumpling it worked for us in the last game that a little bit of an extra attacking prowess. No changes to the starting lineup. You're not going to change things if you get a win. Let's see if the boys can back it up again and get some more points here today. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're on the road and Owen Duggan is the leading goal scorer. We're at the bottom of the table and we've got the leading goal scorer because that figures. But uh, Stevenage today, can the boys rally? Can we get back-to-back -back points? I'll take a draw. A win would be nice. Let's just not get slapped. Duggan getting back and helping out defensively. Wang pushes forward. Run, Wang. Run, Wang. Oh, ref. He's just been shirt fronted. More numbers pushing forward. Oh, come on. Just mark up for five fucking seconds. Oh, offside. Fuck me. I am I'm getting frustrated. Jong into the middle. Suda finds Duggan. Oh, he's the leading goal scorer. And he slips it out here. Leon joins in the attack. The wing back. Pushes forward. Delivers it deep for Timmerman. He can't get up. Duggan does well to back into his man. Lays it off here. Timmerman. Can he create something? He's got to really earn his paycheck. He's not really provided a lot. Suda. Wang. Out for Leon. Tried to cross it in. And then gave it away. Gopal did well. There's Leon. He's got some space. We'll fire forward. Here is Wang. Wang pushes inside. Comes around and well, there's no curl on that. Oh, he's been done. Leon did well. Big woo. Timmerman just played it off. Duggan out wide. Seen the run of Wang. Let's go, Wang. Come on, Wang. Deliver. It's deep for Voss. Cleared away. Suit up. Rough touch. Still manages to get this one out. Duggan. Hartley Pool growing in stature. Lays it off. Looks for Biswell. And he couldn't get there. Oh, long ball forward. Helgerson came off his line. But too late, and it's 1-0 Stevenage. That long ball over the top. And our defenders didn't have the pace to recover. Helgerson jumps off his line, but all too late. Oh, the boys are trying. They're looking up and about, unfortunately. Right here, over the top, just on side. Helgerson comes out, gets nowhere near it. 1-0. Oh, here they come again. Gopal turned, and Helgerson makes the save. Late corner for Stevenage. We're still in this, boys. 
And there's the half-time whistle, 1-0 down. Oh, Helgerson, big save. Stevenage up and about. They've got themselves another corner. Just can't seem to work our way out of defence. Big woo. Punish him. Yes. Oh, it's a foot race. We're not going to get here. Oh! 2-0. We need some pace at the back. We're just getting our legs spread wide apart. And Stevenage, look at these through ball. Like, there's no way Gopal and that are going to get anywhere near there. Helgerson tries to make himself big, but... Oh, 2-0. Laid it off for Wang. Wang pushes his way around. We'll drive this one deep. Gets another touch. Tries to flick it through. Come on, boys. Compose yourselves. Have a sniff. Oh, no. They're out the back door again. Big Woo. Go, Big Woo. Oh. All right, changes made. Wu Huggins makes his debut, and Taylor checks in at centre back for Gopal. And Zhang wants to take it on inside. Huggins finds Wu, finds Duggan. Can Duggan create something? He's found little Wu. Wu caught in the box, caught on the ball. John fires one up the line. Here's Huggins. Hugs the line. Delivers one in deep and cleared away. Corner here late for Hartlepool. Wang, Duggan. There's the whistle. Uh, unfortunately, a defeat on the road, but Hartlepool looked hungry. Well, 12 shots to six. They had more passes. We had more tackles as usual, but it's a 2-1 defeat on the road. Right, so I'm just looking at the twos and realizing that Zhang's playing in both teams. So we do need a right back to come in. Uh, so for now, I'm going to promote Jinder Ali to the uh, you know the squad, and he can play right back in the twos for now. Final game of today's episode is in the Papa John's Trophy. So the reserves will roll out here. Tang up top. We're going back to the, the standard 4-2-3-1 formation. Uh, hopefully, it's a bit more defensive. Solanke and Buckley aren't really going to provide much there uh, in the midfield, but we'll see what happens. Huggins will start on the right-hand side. Ali makes his debut at right back. And, um, yeah, we won the first one, so let's see how we go. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we've got a draw uh, against Scunthorpe. So if we get a win here, we progress through to the knockouts. Big game, Hartlepool and Cambridge United. Oh, Huggins just used a bit of skill and a bit of sauce to get around. Doesn't really have anything in the box to look at. Wu lays it off, finds Buckley. He just laced one. Martin, welcome back, Louis. Solanke, that's poor. In midfield today. Big Taylor, let's go, Terrence. Here is Buckley. Screams his way forward. Oh, referee! Send him off from behind. He's taking his wallet, he's taking his keys, and he's just getting a talking to. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Come on. Clear it. Get in there, Louis. Yes. Solanke. Buckley. Oh, that's shit -housery. Oh, fuck me. Oh, he's offside. Jesus. Defensively in the box. We just, we're just just not coping. Oh, Taylor. He gave it away. Oh, just that ticky-tack touch with the feet. It's doing my fucking head in. And bang, top bins. That one will count. Fuck. Oh, boys. Fuck me, is there grease on your slippers? Oh my days, they're just slipping through like a nun's first curry. 2-0. Cambridge United. Just the touches are just... Oh my days. I mean, Taylor got a foot in there, but it didn't matter. 2-0. Oh! Oh, it's disturbing at best. 
Okay, I think we need to uh, set the reserves up with a different formation as well. They, tough. I mean, Cambridge United, uh, are they League One? They are just rinsing us for everything. That is a big strike. 3-0. They've gone down the outside. Come on, Terence. Louis. Come on, big boys. No. No! Fuck off! 4-0! Oh, yeah, I think this formation just goes in the bin on all accounts. It's just not working for anyone here at the moment. Oh, Lou needs to really work on his playbook. Send the reserves out. They weren't familiar with the new formation. So send them out what they know. Oh, they don't know shit right now. Hogerson got a finger on it. It's not good enough. 4-0. There's the halftime whistle at 4 nil. From Tank. Needs to flick on. There's Cheng. Lays it off. Tank. Gets the touch. Will lay one through. Buckley. Oh! Get in, son! Tommy Buckley loves a banger. That's his second goal of the season. Well, for once, it's us coming out after halftime. Maybe I'll lose. Handed the sauce around. I don't know. Tommy Buckley on a, another level there. Tang. Whoa. Buckley. Bang. That is a good finish. What is he? 46 rated. This is about broken his own ankle trying to take the shot. He's beaten the keeper. 4 1. Oh, Louis Martin. He's having a day out here. Not getting a lot of minutes of late, but. Cheng, I find Zhang who's moved into the midfield. Flicks one back for Cheng and he does get the touch. Let's go, Cheng. Oh, he's struggling. Zhang. Buckley. There's Huggins. Buckley. Zhang. Looks inside. Tang. Tries to turn his man. Oh, doesn't have the skills to pay the bills. Good from Solanke. Buckley. Zhang. Back for Buckley. They start pressing the midfield. Zhang. Oh, that's a poor pass. Oh, Ali just threw in a leg. Buckley. That's the outside run here from Huggins, and he's got some space. Huggins down the line. We'll need some bodies in the box. Has he got a cross? He does. Can't find Tank. Get in there, Buckley. He does, but no one there to help him out. All right, let's make some changes here. Coles, Barnes, and Biz will check in for Wu, Chang, and Tang. Oh, soft. Soft as cheese. 5-1 Cambridge. Ironside is ripping us apart. Uh, I mean, I can't be too disgruntled. It's... A bit part team that's out there, but you know, a few of these lads need to show something ability wise if they ever want to push into the ones. 5 1. Oh, Solanke, that's late, mate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, the August. Oh, oh. I'll take that. Louis Martin drops one up the line, finds Barnes. We'll push forward. Big Zhang chips it over the top. Biswalt. Takes a touch. Oh, save. And there is the whistle. A 5-1 defeat to Cambridge United. Oh, we fought back possession there in the second. 28 tackles. We laid 28 tackles, but only won four of them. Oh, that's disgraceful. 14 interceptions from Cambridge. Ooh, that's, yeah, actually, that's really rough. Rough. Right, and that is where we finish today's episode. Still bottom of the table. I don't know what Al Lu's doing uh, there to the board, but he's got a 98 manager rating at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I think he might be slipping in some, some cash or maybe a couple of hot meals just to uh, hold on to his job there. But we get another win on the board. Uh, two and eight, no draws. But, uh, you know, some, some signs there that things could improve soon. Uh, next episode, we've got Northampton. Uh, and they are up and about, top of the table. But we've got them at home. Who knows what's going to happen then? And I think we've got uh, Bradford City as well 
uh, coming up uh, somewhere along the road. Oh, we've got Salford City. Oh, okay. Where are they? Ugh, yeah, okay. All right, we've got work to do. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. A few signs there of improvement. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to see what we can do about the twos because obviously a lot of games. We'll get through it. Well, thanks very much for joining in today. Hopefully you enjoyed that one. We'll see you in the next episode. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon. And if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself. And uh, for $1 a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that $1 a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You, you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel. Sign up today and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos. One here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when... The